One day during track practice, my track coach called me aside and he says, uh, we have a local high school with a track meet tonight. Would you be interested in going over and, and, and helping us? I, I said, sure. What do you want me to do? He asked me to be the starter. Well, being a sprinter, I was kind of familiar with starting. So I went over and uh, to Livingston High School. I was a student at uh, University of West Alabama or Livingston University at that time. And we had a great track meet that afternoon, that late afternoon, early evening. Track and field is what most folks know me as a official of, but I officiated football and basketball for 25, 24 years also. One of my funniest times in uh, officiating was it happened in a football game. I was uh, the referee. We had a play that ran around right in. I followed the play. It happened to be over on the home side. Uh, guard pulled and he uh, kicked the end uh, out. Well, when he kicked the end out, the end was running toward the sideline, so he hit him in the back, knocked him down. The play had already gone past that spot on the field. I threw the flag for clipping, went on down the field. The boy managed to get to the end zone and score. All the coach came with glued. Uh, he uh, starts hollering, you stink, you stink. I, I knew the coach real well had known him for years. I kind of went up in the area where he was, said, coach, you got to stop this, and uh, measured off my penalty. He didn't leave it alone. He just hollered more and more, you stink, you stink. So after about three times, I asked him to stop. Um, I threw a penalty on him for unsportsmanlike conduct. I measured off 15 yards, and I turned around, I looked at him, and he started to say something. I said, how do I smell from down here? <laughs> that was the end of that. He started laughing and we were finished. Went on with the ball game. His team won by about 20 points. Later on in life, and as life has progressed, I still see that coach from day to day. We laugh about that. We both remember that well. The most gratification has been to find someone that is interested in the sport and someone that will uh, work the sport uh, they will study, they will go to rules clinics. Studying the rule book is what it, uh, learning track and field is about. It's, it seems like it's a simple sport to officiate, and it is to a certain point, but there are some things that can be very hectic, and if a person doesn't study the rule book, they're gonna learn real quickly that it can get out of hand. I've officiated and been fortunate to be able to officiate um, track meets all over, the eastern part of the United States. But one of the persons that has uh, the biggest influence on me has been a man named Art Carrington. Art was a retired uh, federal prison warden and he was very, very uh, good at track and field. He was a starter by trade. When I say that, that was the thing that he did the most in track and field and he kind of took me under his wing. And each time we worked meets together, wherever they were, we would sit down and we would talk about things that we could do to make track and field better as a starter, how to make the starts good for all the athletes. We both felt very strongly, and I feel very strongly today that track and field officials uh, don't need to be seen. They don't need to be heard. They're there just to make the game or the sports good and safe uh, for the athletes. Art uh, was a very caring guy. He uh, gave me so many hints on how to be a better starter. I will never forget him for what he's done for me. My family has encouraged me. Over the years, my uh, family encouraged me to uh, participate in a sport that they knew I loved. They knew that I ran track in college and that I wanted to continue. They encouraged me to uh, go and uh, participate in the uh, meets as I grew and was able to participate in larger meets. They encouraged me to, to take the time to go and do this. They supported me. Um, I have to admit, there are times where I missed some family functions because I was gone. I was not able to because I had a commitment and I was away from home at the time. The biggest advice I would give to a first year official is to be patient, 
and to study the rule book. Those two things are the biggest thing that I can come up with. Many times a new official wants to go and do the big meets to start with. They don't have the experience and sometimes they get into problems. Reading the rule book in off season is important. You have to remember which contest you're at or participating in or working and be able to work that meet based on the rules that are given for that meet. You can't apply something else. Being selected into the Alabama Sports Officials Hall of Fame is a tremendous award to me because it was chosen, I was chosen because of my peers. My peers have looked at me evidently and thought that I was worthy of this award. They uh, appreciate what I have done over the years. They um, have set me up to receive this award and, and I'm so appreciative of what they have done for me uh, and me receiving this award.